Hi, this is Brian Lazar from the Colorado Avalanche Information Center and welcome to your weekly Avalanche Outlook. We'll start with a brief overview of kind of where we're sitting in terms of current conditions right now. And you can see we've got elevated danger across all of the northern mountains and through much of the central mountains with just a few areas of moderate danger in the Sangre de Cristo Range, the South San Juan, and in the Grand Mesa zone. We've got a storm coming in uh, on Thursday, so expect avalanche danger to spike on Thursday. This could likely lead to high danger in avalanche watches and warnings in the steamboat and flat top zone, and elevated danger in the rest of the Northern Mountains. That includes the Front Range and the Vail Summit County zones. Those are likely to stay at level three or considerable danger, which is three out of five, but it's gonna be uh, very dangerous avalanche conditions in those zones. There's less snow out of this storm as you generally move south. So conditions will be a little bit more stable and a little safer as you head into the central mountains of uh, Aspen, Gunnison, the Sawatch, and then down into the north and south San Juans. So over the next you know, few days, expect avalanche danger to spike on Thursday before a gradual decline as the snow ends. We do have some snow uh, coming for the weekend. Um, this doesn't look like any kind of potent storm, but it could be enough snow and enough drifting snow with the incoming winds to keep avalanche danger elevated as we move into the weekend. We've released a new avalanche explorer tool, which allows you to look for trends and patterns in avalanche activity. And what you can see here on the map are just avalanches that have run across the state uh, since our big storm event on uh, the New Year holiday, so December 30th through today. You can see most places throughout the state experience some kind of avalanche activity. And what I want to draw your attention to here is the avalanche distribution rows. And this shows the aspect and elevations where avalanches were most common. So you can see the vast majority of large avalanches, I have them filtered here for just avalanches big enough to bury or kill a person or larger, um, are confined to north, northeast, east, and southeast aspects. There's a few here and there on other aspects, but it's really those north through southeast facing slopes at all elevations which have been the most dangerous. And as we continue to load these things on Thursday, it's gonna be those same areas that are gonna be the most dangerous as we move into Thursday, Friday, and then with a little bit more snow on the weekend. Hey everyone, Chris here with the Colorado Avalanche Information Center. We're traveling near the Ofer Pass Road in the North San Juan zone. We've traveled on northeast, east, and southeast facing slopes today, and found a generally supportive upper snowpack. We've both commented on the lack of collapses and shooting cracks that we've noticed while using some steeper, smaller test slopes to evaluate for unstable snow. We stopped here on the northeast aspect right about tree line at 11,800 feet, and our stability tests are easily failing in a weaker layer of facets below a stiff overlying slab that's accumulated in December. We got a big storm coming into the area over the next 24 hours with a lot of wind and more added weight. So the wind will easily transport this low density snow into a stiffer upper slab. And as we add more weight, we should anticipate that this weak layer will become more reactive in the coming days here in the North San Juan. So as we move past the weekend, we do get into some drier conditions. This will allow the snowpack to adjust to all the recent loading that's taken place. So expect that gradual trend of better stability to progress into next week while we'll probably be looking at large swaths of yellow or moderate avalanche danger as we head into the middle of next week. So make sure you check your current avalanche forecast at colorado.gov slash avalanche or on the CAIC mobile app so that you're up to date on current conditions and can make travel plans that meet uh, conditions and keep you all safe into the weekend. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next week.